Have you ever had that gut feeling that something is just not right? That moment where you're just walking down the street or you're sitting in your room and all of a sudden it hits you, bam! Ow, that actually can hurt. Ooh, that spine chilling sense of dread that haunts you. It's really when you least expect it. Well, that's what we're delving into today. And trust me, it's way more common than you think. Before I unravel this mystery, let me take you back a little bit. Just a few days ago, I was right here in this room. It was quiet peaceful. I was in the zone, man. I was working away. But then it happened. That dreaded feeling of impending doom. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I can, ah, what is that feeling? Oh no, something's wrong. Problem solved. Mm -mm. I couldn't shake it, no matter how hard I tried. It was like this unwelcome ghost lurking in the shadows of my mind. It would not go away. It was urging me to figure out what happened. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is there a sign that's being told to me? Is God telling me something? Like, what is this feeling? Why does it feel so bad? My heart is beating. It's just that dreaded feeling of something being wrong. So what's happening? It's our mind's way of sending us a cryptic message. But what I find is it's often a trap. This cryptic message often can't be cracked, which keeps people stuck in this impending doom. It's like background noise, a signal in your brain. It doesn't always warrant a response, but it wants you to respond. In fact, trying to react to it can sometimes lead you down a rabbit hole of just unnecessary stress. This feeling of dread can come out of nowhere. It's almost as if the brain wants you to problem solve something that's not really a problem. So you're creating a problem trying to problem solve something that's not a problem. Ah, it's on high alert when it doesn't need to be. This dread feeling is the worst, because why not react to it? But as you've heard me say before, if we cannot see an immediate threat, we're gonna not react to it. I know this is easier said than done, but just because our body says there's a problem, doesn't mean there's a problem. Don't use that for reassurance. We can, however, evaluate our life and possibly pinpoint a few different things that we could change. Here's some questions you could ask. Are you feeling extra lonely lately? Have you stopped connecting with other people? How about low self-esteem? Have you ever felt like the efforts you're putting in have just not really been working out the way you'd like them to? Are you feeling extra stressed about work, family, or any other areas of your life? How about bored? Are you just finding yourself bored recently? You seem to not really be wanting to engage in many things. And the things that you used to like, you don't like anymore. Maybe it's a whole bout of uncertainty that's been happening in your life recently. We know life is very uncertain and it causes a lot of feelings we don't really want. Those feelings of like, just wrong. Something is wrong. There could be some depression in that too. I know we've been taught our whole life, trust our gut, it's gonna be accurate. Nah, <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, but we can't always be guided by a perception. So what can you do about this? This darn feeling of dread? Well, the answer might surprise you. Sometimes the best course of action is to do nothing. Instead of trying to decode it, simply let it pass. Save your energy for something real, evident, something you can see. I've started adopting the wait and see approach when this feeling surfaces. I found that most of the time, it just fades away on its own, leaving me to focus really just on the things that I'm doing. Something bad's gonna happen. Okay, I guess we'll see. I'm not gonna do anything though. I don't just sit there and continually check to make sure it goes away, because that's just gonna make it stay around longer. And stay, and stay it. Instead, responding as if I don't care. Cool, thanks for the thought today, man. If I care about this feeling, it's gonna wanna stay. If I treat it like a false signal, it gradually fades. Ultimately, here's the situation. If you feel like something is wrong, it could be for so many different reasons. It could be a response of tons of anxiety you've had lately. Maybe some poor experiences. Either way, let's teach the brain that you are safe. And the only way to do that is to actually only react when there's a problem. Makes sense, right? So the next time this feeling happens, pretend you are an actor. You have to convince the audience that you simply don't care about this. What would that look like? Would you be saying, wow, man, I love this feeling. I hope it lasts all day. Let me put my feet up and just enjoy this thing. I'll be so sad when this feeling goes away. Oh, dang it. Oh, I know, I feel that dread feeling, but I don't want it to go away. It's probably the opposite of what we really want, right? But we're teaching the brain we don't care. You don't even need to look for a problem. Instead, the problem has to slap you in the face to be so obvious. If you're feeling this dread day after day after day after day, when has it proven to be accurate? We are really good at making connections that aren't really connections. 
I had a bad feeling about something and something bad did happen. False, 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 false. We're not falling for it anymore. Bad things happen. We can't have a feeling, but if we knew for sure, we would have done something about it. We wanna live the life that you wanna live exactly how you wanna live it. If you're not living it, you're likely gonna feel these dread feelings come up every once in a while. And if you haven't been living life, go live it. Go do things that you normally don't do because when we're sitting idle, just doing nothing, those feelings love to join those parties. Oh, I'm gonna love this dreaded feeling. Oh man, I'm not even gonna say it's bad feeling, man. Ooh, great. Do you ever get this feeling? Let me know down in the comments what that feels like for you and when it jumps into the party. And man, do not miss out on this other video here because we're all in this together and we're gonna learn to decipher and figure out what's worth our attention. Go to the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.